Well, it's not every morning we talk politics. Sometimes you have the rare delight of talking to young Nigerians who are making this country very proud. You saw there in that report uh, the governor of Anambra State welcoming uh, young girls who won the Technovation uh, Challenge in Silicon Valley all the way in the United States. They're with us in our studio this morning. We have two of them here. We have Promise Nalue, who is a student of Regina Patches School, Regina Patches Model School in Onitsha. You're welcome, Thank you. Promise. We also have with us Jessica Osita, who is a student of Regina Patches Model School as well. You're welcome, Regina. I beg your pardon, Jessica. <laughs> and we also have with us their mentor, um, Uchinna Onwami Bu Ugu, who is the CEO of Edufan Technic Hub, who is a mentor to the girls. You're welcome to Sunrise City this morning. Thank it's a real delight to have you young ladies here and also your mentor as well. Thank I mean, we get to see these things on TV, but to actually meet the people who are doing us proud outside the country is a real honor. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily again. Thank you. Thank you. So let me start with the girls. Uh, I hope you don't mind, Mentor. How did you feel when you first of all got the chance to compete? And any one of you can answer this, uh, you know, outside the shores of the country. Did you think you stood a chance? Which one of you wants to go first? Promise, go ahead. Uh, I felt nervous because we have never, we have never done anything with the internet. <clears throat> it was actually our mentor that brought this opportunity to us. Mm -hmm. And going there and seeing the Americans and Europeans mm -hmm. were like, can we do this? But she encouraged us and she said, have confidence in yourself, you can do this. And when we presented, we were like, wow, so we are the ones that are doing this. Actually, we presented and people were commenting us. Wow. Have you ever been out of the country before? Was it your first time? Yes. It was your first time. Yes. How did you feel about it? I mean, were you nervous as well? Promise said she was nervous. Were you? Yes, I was nervous, but our mentor called me down. She said that you can beat the Europeans and the Americans when you have confidence in yourself, when you believe in yourself, when you believe that you can make it. So anytime we feel like we can't do this, she'll tell us you can do it. Just believe in yourself. And fantastically, you did really well you not only did it you also made the country very proud let me ask you what gave you the idea to to look at fake drugs i, I think you developed an app that can de detect fake drugs yes. uh, what made you think of you know that particular idea something in your society or what, what brought it up i brought up the idea to solve this problem fake drug because it was your own idea yes wow mm? go ahead because it is a global pandemic in our society lots of life have been lost because of this same problem mm. so we decided to tackle the problem fake drugs so how does your app work do you, do you want to tell us how does it work uh it's actually work by you, you scan the barcode of the drug with the camera of your phone mm -hmm. and when you do this if the drug is fake it's right off as unconfirmed and if it's genuine it's right off as confirmed it's very simple very easy to use yeah I'm very, I'm just wondering, so how did you get to meet the mentor? To tell us a little more about, about how you came in touch with your mentor. Um, our mentor actually came to our past principal to ask for an opportunity. Actually, she came last year when she came to teach us um, programming language. Mm -hmm. So he, she met our past principal, and the principal gave the opportunity. She allowed her to come and teach us. Father Jerome is no longer here now. So she, he allowed her to come and teach us. And from there, after teaching us for the last, after teaching us the programming language last summer, when this technovation came up, she also met him. And she said, and he said, okay, you can come and teach them. So that was how we came in um, touch with her. Wow. Mentor, you must be awesomely proud this morning. I mean, I mean, since they won that award, even before they won the award, I'm sure you, you were very sure of what your girls could do. I'm, I'm very envious this morning, the fact that you're <laughs> teaching young girls and you're mentoring them. But how did you feel? I mean, as I start with, what gave you the idea that these girls could actually do what they have done? 
I've always believed in people. I've always believed in anyone, no matter who you are. So even when I met them, they don't have any idea of internet. I believe they can do it. I know they can do it. So I started mentoring them a year ago. Not only them, I, I also work with different schools that I, especially in rural communities, people that may not have the opportunity to have access to internet or access to resources. So I've been working with schools in rural communities and low-income schools as well to teach them. But for them in particular, or any other girl I've mentored, I have so much belief and trust in you. I don't think you cannot do anything, you know, especially if it's positive. Why can't you do it? So I am proud of them. I have faith in people I work with. I come to you knowing that if, it's, if you are going to have one contact in a lifetime, you will remember it. So, and that's the spirit to go to school and teach hands-on STEM education. And uh, if I meet any girl or anybody from another community tomorrow, I believe you can do things, and uh, I have faith in them. These are obviously very special young ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, again, just congratulations on your fantastic achievement. I, I, let me ask you, you know, when Jessica came up with this idea initially, what were your thoughts, and how did that evolve, the technology? Um, we went for a problem drive anyway to find problems. So they all, we, we were more than 30 team, 30 girls. So they all went for a problem drive. Everybody have their own problem. Jessica came up. She don't like talking about it. She came up with that because she has also been affected by one of her brothers who lost his life. So when he, she came up with this, we were working with this alongside other people. But when we sat down to see and think about what has happened in Nigeria, you know, starting with her, um, late Professor Dora Kunyele, how she has been tackling this, we felt that now that the world is evolving in technology, what can we do to keep it in our hands so that you can sit at home and find that this is not good? Um, pharmaceutical industries can have peace of mind knowing that people would, think, would know that their drugs are genuine because they are, we are going to work with them. NAVDAQ will have less work to do trying to um, import few um, fake drugs. And as we also started, we found out that this is not just the Nigerian problem, it's the world problem. Mm -hmm. So that gave us the um, courage to continue. Now, what, now is, what now does the future hold? As you look forward now, five, ten years, for example, what, what are the possibilities? What are you looking at in terms of uh, potentially other innovations? Um, looking at five, ten years, I know that girls, um, boys need to be given a chance to develop their ideas, to even think about ideas. So I am working towards a long-term goal where I can be able to reach and find those talents, like those girls. You know, if you didn't find them, they wouldn't be found. You know, they could stay there with this amazing talent that made the whole country proud. So the, my plan for the next five, 10 years is to keep discovering them, keep placing them in, in places or organizations that can help with scholarship, with uh, mentoring, with uh, um, nurturing their ideas to come to life and actually solve our own problem. So you're also mm -hmm. thinking of working with boys as well. You're not, you, you don't discriminate. No, this, I don't. I don't discriminate because there is talent everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But however, I focus on girls because when you interact with them personally, you find out that they have a lot of talent. But what happens is that they don't have confidence mm. in themselves. They feel like, oh, this is boys thing or. Uh, but boys, whenever I go to meet boys, they are always eager to, you know, do something. But girls, they have this hidden talent that you need to help them bring it out. Uh, am I too old to be taught? No, 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 you are not. Please, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering now.